What's going on guys? We're gonna do a black burst today. I've got this beautiful one piece top from Kimball Hardwoods. He's the only guy that is actually selling these. I always try to grab one from him. This is a multi-layered guitar body that I was playing with over last summer. I have a couple of these bodies left. This is a Corinna, I guess three quarter, um, side, three quarter thick body with a couple layers in here. I thought the layers would actually show up on the side when I stained this all black, but they did not. Um, what we did is we stained this whole thing black and then we sanded it off with 320 grit sandpaper. And now what we're looking at is a black sanded back guitar with this one piece figure. And when you ever have a one piece, you lose that center line as like a reference point. So it's got a way different look without that center line running through the body. So what we're gonna do today is come back with some black and re-feather this to get it to mesh properly. And then we're kinda of gonna be done. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the old rag and a little bit of neutral. And what we're gonna do is just sort of feather the sides here. To bring back a little black. You can see how much this immediately gets crazy in terms of figure. but it's not too dark when I do it to this way. So it's more of like a gray black, faded black, which is what I'm looking for. Come back through the center here and work this through. There's just a little bit of uh, neutral left on here, we'll wet this up. If you guys like guitar related content, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to be a member for five bucks a month, you get access to all the giveaways and special perks. So we'll come back once more and darken up the sides like so. So this brush methodology that I use, I feel like it just loosens up the swirl. Sometimes when you do the swirl, you get that. I feel like with this motion, it's more of a airbrush look to some degree. That's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> All right, now we are little bit less in liquid. What we're gonna do is just go back over this spot. And now we've got a consistent black with the sides darkened up a little bit. I had a little bit of over sanding here and a little bit of over sanding there. And we got it to look pretty good. If we hit this with steel wool, this will be a full, nice, dark black burst. So that's what we were looking for, is darker on the outside, and maybe just slightly lighter in the center. And once we take the steel wool to this, the figure will pop through. And we got a little bit darker color than I normally go for but something unique for you guys. And I think when I hit the sides with the steel wool, it'll definitely get that color to pop. This is flame maple, and then there's a piece of ash with two pieces of, uh, I don't actually remember what that was, walnut potentially? And I'm hoping when I do the steel wool, once this is all dry, this, um, 
kind of looks like uh, racing stripes. I don't know, something I'm playing around with. So we'll go ahead and just make sure this is all stained right. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But we're playing around. This looks good. We'll let this sit. Hit the steel wool next. So we'll come back with a Harbor Freight airbrush and the first pattern goes on with a sort of three to five inch back and forth and then you come back and start to overlay another coat and I know you can't see it here on the right side but I'm doing that same pattern you can see it going onto the wood you kind of go back and forth to get the first coat on and then I come back with a longer looped pattern to sort of even it all out. This is straight black dye from Angelus in the airbrush. And it's just a slow process to go back and forth. I only needed to do this one coat and that's it. And we are good to go. This is more of a traditional look than the hand rub stuff that I do. But there are a lot of ways to apply finish on these guitar bodies. So once we let that dry, we put some sanding sealer on here. So the first coat of sanding sealer is very thin. You can see this body light up awesomely. And then this is the third coat of sanding sealer and we go way heavier and the body is all set. We do that on the back side and the sides as well. So we'll go back live in video here. All right, so here is the completed black burst. I sprayed with the airbrush that I just showed you guys. I think it just has a little bit different of a look versus hand rubbed. Hand rubbed, sometimes you get a little bit harder of a gradation. Here it's a little bit more even. The only problem with doing an airbrush versus doing it by hand is that when you kind of rub on a stain, sometimes you can scratch and you can pull off some of the dye from doing that. That's why I don't do a lot of airbrushing sometimes because guys want to kind of figure the poor man's way of doing this. So kind of the theme of my video is, is how do you do it at home? How do you get kind of a professional finish without having, you know, a $10,000 spray shot set up? But this looks really nice. Again, a beautiful one piece top from Kimball Hardwoods. I tried to do this multi-ply sandwich. You can see it here with the dark ash flame maple and then I can't remember what this is a piece of rosewood it didn't really come out as much as I thought it was playing around trying to get something the Corinna always takes the stain nicely but this guitar body just looks great so for sale on my website one piece black burst with uh, humbuckers can drop a nice bridge on here really happy with this this was uh four coats of sanding sealer and just a nice feathering around so really really nice look beautiful piece of wood from kimball hardwood so if you like guitar related content please comment like and subscribe and if you join the membership for five dollars a month you get access to all the giveaways for free so again thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video